Hey, 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 happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. I'm a little late this morning, but that's okay. I'm not quite finished getting set up, but we are going to go on and get started here. How is everyone on this beautiful Friday? Down here in Texas, we have sunny skies and 80 degrees in the afternoon. <laughs> right now, it's only 54, but it's still beautiful out there. Oh, I hope it's nice where you all are. I've got Michelle in the house. Hello, Mallory and Luana. I've got Elaine and Kay and Maria. You all, thank y'all so much for showing up bright and early this morning for Fun Fold Friday. Today, I am making a center pop-out gatefold. <laughs> a center pop-out gatefold. Um, it's a way cool looking card when you're finished. It's got a lot of little pieces, but that's okay because remember, I always have the downloadable with all of the measurements um, in your email, okay? So now I don't always get that email sent out right away, but eventually I do get that email sent out. So <laughs> of course you can always go to the blog and it's written out there, but you just can't download it from the blog. You have to be on my email to get the download. Um, or you can just follow along uh, with the replay of this video and write it down because I have it at the bottom of the screen also. So lots of places for you to get these measurements and these pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a terrible frog in my throat. Hold on. Do I have a soda? I do have a soda. Oh, little bubbles. Bubbles for the throat. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, we're talking about little pieces. Oh, and then also remember, only six days left. That is it. You only have six days left. Celebration will be over at the end of February. When March gets here, you can't say, oh, please, I still need the designer paper. I didn't get it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Stampin' Up! won't give us any more. So once March is here, that's it. Celebration's over. Also, the joining special ends in six days. Um, you all seriously should consider joining Sampin' Up. I mean, besides the benefits of being on the amazing Reese's Paper Pieces team, <laughs> um, there's so much more. You get 20% uh, off all your product that you buy. You get to be a part of the amazing worldwide crafting community of Stampin' Up. I mean, uh, I give you inspiration and you all watch YouTube videos of different demonstrators. But when you are a part of the family, you get access to private Facebook groups. You get um, access to all kinds of stuff and a conference. And I'm so excited. Uh, we are heading to Houston at the end of or in the middle of March for our uh, annual conference and get to see the new annual catalog that will be coming out in May. I can't believe we're going to have another catalog soon. It's so exciting. Oh, I just love being a part of this company. It's so I love all the fun new stamps and paper and everything's just so pretty. Anyways, I could go on and on, but we are here to make a card. So oh, I've got a lot more people here. Let's see. I left off with Michelle and Rosie. I got Stacy, Noreen, Darlene, Julie, Tiffany, Ann. We have Karen and Jane. Uh, Georgina. I love it. Oh, and Mary Ellen. Good morning, all of you. And Susan Carroll. Hello, hello. All right, let's switch screens here. There we go. Oh, I forgot. I don't have. Hold on. Uh, let's go back to this one. I forgot. I haven't set up my camera, my uh, phone yet. I can do that in just a sec. Um, Alrighty, let's go there, 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 and okay, put that up there, add second camera. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it all worked so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, I do have to get it set up angled right there we go and zoom in a wee bit to get that glare off of there perfect all right here's our card here is our card oh i do want to switch it to this view there we go um so this is gate folds mean that it just opens in the center instead of on the side like a book a gate fold just opens in the center to keep this card closed though we do create a belly band 
Okay, so that's what a belly band is. It's just a band of paper that holds it together. All right, you ready for the pop out? Woo, isn't that cool? And then it sits up on the shelf like that. Okay, so it looks like that, but it's sitting on the shelf like that. Isn't that fun? So we're going to make this. Got a few um, different, I don't know if you can see the mechanisms inside here to make the pop out. Anyways, we're going to make this card together. I'm so excited. Now, this paper, of course, our special paper, it's called Flight and Airy. And you can only get this paper as a free item during celebration. So you only have six days left to get this paper. Um, it's a $50 purchase and you can choose this paper as your free item. It comes with 12, 12 by 12 sheets of this beautiful bird, soft colors, uh, really pretty paper. We're using this today. Okay. Um, let's see. What else are we using today? We're going to use the Essentials Nesting Dies. These are awesome. If you don't have this set of dies, these are so versatile. Um, first of all, they nest so they, you know, they can be layered, but it's always nice having a banner and they're stitched. Um, and then there's uh, nice rectangles with the rounded corners and then these fun shapes. We're going to be using these and the banners and all three of them today. All right. So we're using that. And then um, for our sentiment, we're using so sincere. Um Happy birthday. Hope your day is a happy one. So happy birthday. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need, like I said, I'm going to be putting that measurements up here uh, one more time. This is called the center pop out gatefold. Okay, center pop out gatefold. Our first thing is our base. So let me move the card out of the way and get our base in here. Here's our base, eight and a half by five and a half. And I need my scoring tool. All right, and we are going to score this at two and an eighth, okay, which an eighth is just half of a quarter, which is half of a half, <laughs> which is half of an inch. <laughs> uh, get your cutting blade out of the way. I already cut one paper today accidentally, had to scotch tape it back in place. Uh, four and a quarter, okay, that's the center of my card. And then two and an eighth on the other side which is six and three eighths. So if you don't want to extend your arm, you can just turn your card around or go to six and what did I say? Three eighths. So that is a smidge over a quarter. So right there. Okay. So there is our um, base. Let me get my bone folder here. So uh, you just fold it in half like regular, okay? And then open it and fold these inside, okay? So it's a gate fold. There we go. All right, so there is our, our base, okay? That's better, like that. <laughs> so that's our base. Now, we need some mechanisms, but before we attach the mechanisms on here, I want to attach the designer paper. So let me pull back out the original card. So here's the mechanism back here. But before we put that on, I want to put this designer paper on. So um, this designer paper, and I've cut six of them out. There's six panels. I have two for the front and four for the inside. So we're going to put the uh, really pretty pecan pie colored ones and the pink uh, with just the floral here. And then these two with the birds will be for the front of the card. OK, so let me um, get some adhesive here and get all this put on. Oh, so are you guys ready for spring? I sure am. Oh, my gosh. We're still worried that we'll have one more uh, freeze here in Texas. Our last average day of freeze is March 17th, but that's an average. It still could freeze after that day. And um, But on these warm days where it's 80 degrees in the afternoon, I mean, you really do want to get your hands in the dirt and start planting. Oh, so tempting, but we're holding off. I do an herb garden every year and I 
plant impatiens in front of the door because we have these big oak trees in the front. So that's the only flower I can get to grow in the in the shade. Um, but I like impatiens because they come in different colors. They're pretty. I try to get the hot pink and the coral. Those are my favorite. And but I know those of you up north, you still you've got a while to go before spring. <laughs> I know. That's why my parents moved us to Texas. My mother was sick of the snow. We lived in Massachusetts. I was born outside of Boston. Yep. My nephew and his mom still live up there. Okay. All right. So that's my inside. Now for my mechanisms. Let me double check my comments. Remember, if you have a question, if I'm going too fast or if you need uh, some clarification, put a... Um, a question mark or something in front so I can find it as I scroll through here real quick. Oh, Anna said, hi, Christina. Made it to the live. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Catherine, I love that you're from Limerick, Ireland. I just, I just love that. <laughs> I can't wait to go there someday. Hello, Patricia. And all right, don't see any questions. Let's continue then. So our mechanism here, we have two pieces. Let me grab those uh, dimensions for you. Where did I put it? Here we go. Pop out mechanism. The first one is five and an eighth by one inch. And the second one is three by one. Okay, so five and an eighth and three. Okay, and now we need our scoring tool. And we'll do the five and an eight first. We're going to score it at half on both sides. So half, and make sure you have the scoring tool. And then just flip it over and do half on the other side. Okay, so that's one mechanism. And you fold those to the back like that. Okay, so we have that piece. And then this piece has um, a few more scoring marks. So this one is at half. Then at one. Oops, I can't see the one very well. Okay. Then at two. And then two and a half. Okay. Alrighty. Now this one, this centerpiece is going to pop out. So we want to fold it back, but then this tab, we need it to come back the other way. So it makes like a little Z fold. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So we have this look. All right. And it's going to get glued down like that. And this pop, this is the pop out piece. Okay. So we have, I'm going to put those up like that so you can see them. Okay. All right. So those are our mechanisms. <clears throat> Bring our thing back here. And you're going to see, where's my glue? Here it is. I like glue when I'm messing with something that's um, easy to uh, come loose with all of the moving parts and everything. Glue is the number one strongest adhesive that we have. We also have um, the seal plus and we have tear and tape let me get this out of the way so you can see what i'm doing okay and i'm just gluing this to the center okay okay and glue also lets you wiggle it around a little bit so that you make sure you're clear of the score lines there so that the card will fold okay oops I've got glue glue pieces <laughs> There we go. There we go. All right. So that is that piece. All right. So it does that. Now our mechanism. Oh, whoa. Oh, I almost forgot. No, no, no. That's right. Um, it's on the belly band. Uh, the belly band, I have some designer paper on it to, to decorate it. But this one, we're going to be covering all this up with um essential die shapes. So you won't see any of this. Now notice I have it flat like that. Okay. It, it'll pop out. Okay. But you see how it pops out, but it's 
glued down flat so that the card will close. Okay. But then when they open it, it does that. I know it's hard to see, but <laughs> there you go. All right. So that I'm just going to let sit and dry for a minute while we create the center of the pop out piece. So this is our pop out piece right here. And like I said, I'm taking the essential dies. Pull this out so you can see my my large one, my large rectangle with the corners is this pretty blue floral piece of paper. OK, so we have that. And then the next size is the white. So I have that piece right here and that's going to go there. All right. Now, these two tabs right here. These are the second to smallest. It's one and an eighth inch there. And I took the back side of this bird paper. It's a pretty uh, fresh freesia. And I cut them out like that. So we have those two pieces. Okay. And then finally, for our pop out piece, we are going to have this beautiful image here. Um, Actually, I picked a different one this time. This is from the piece. Let me show you the full piece. Hold on. No. Oh, come on. Where are you? There you are. Uh, this piece here. So I cut these pieces out, but I've seen people take circle punches and punch these out, fussy cut them. Um, um, I just love that they're separated and you can use them as your focal images on cards. It's very pretty. Okay. And of course, then there's also another piece in here where you can actually cut the birds out. Individual birds. Where's that piece? Oh, did I use them all up already? Oh, I might have. Hold on. Nope, there it is. Okay, there's that. You can cut those birds out. So this paper is awesome. I love it. It's called Flight and Airy. All right, let's put this together. So first of all, I need to stamp my sentiment. So I'm getting out my Misty Moonlight and my So Sincere. And double check, make sure I don't have any questions. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, the more people share, the more people find us and the more fun we have on in the morning talking with each other. And I have Lori here. Uh, looks like y'all are talking to each other. That's a conversation. Okay. Um, that's another thing, you all. It's so fun being here and reading all of your comments towards each other. <laughs> Great. Okay. No questions. Let's get back to stamping. All right. So your, uh, what does it say? Hope your day is a happy one. Hope your day is a, whoops, excuse me. My head is bumping into the camera. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Back. And I need to get my scissors out. Like I said, I didn't get this cut out before we started this morning, but it'll just take me a minute to go around. It would be nice if we had dies, but that's okay. I've been known to sit in front of the TV, um, or listening to a good book on tape and cut a whole bunch of stuff out. The more you do this fussy cutting, the faster and easier and better you get at it. Okay. The first couple of times you're like, oh, that looks awful. Like a kindergartner did it. And then uh, after a while you're like, oh, this is pretty easy. I don't mind doing that. So like I said, cut out a whole bunch one afternoon while you're watching TV and you get really good at it. I joke and say one year I did Christmas cards and I fussy cut 200 poinsettias. Um, wow. That definitely got my fussy cutting skills down. <laughs> oh, another helpful thing is your tools. Having a nice sharp pair of little scissors is so easy. It's so much easier to cut um, little curves and things when you have a little pair of scissors. Now, some people can do it with the bigger scissors. Um, I've just found it's easier to do it with these little, we, we call snips. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of little pieces here and little, little leaves and little flowers I'm going around. 
I can see why people want to use the circle punch and just circle punch it. <laughs> it would be a lot faster. <laughs> but... Oh, I forgot. There was one more thing I need to talk to you about, you all. To, uh, next week, you're going to have a pre-recorded. I'm still going to give you a fun fold next week, but it will be pre-recorded. Um, and also, Monday night stamping is going to be pre-recorded also. Um, and then we're not having the card challenge. Our card challenge this week is going to last for two weeks because I am going to be in Utah. So if, if there's any of you all who are in Salt Lake City, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City all week for the uh, Family Search Roots Tech, Roots Tech Conference. I love genealogy. And uh, so I will be doing that. <laughs> I'm going to be doing genealogy for a week, getting away from everybody and everything. I'm going with some uh, some of my sisters from the DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution, uh, one of my organizations I belong to that I absolutely love. Let's see, I want to make sure I don't get a dimensional on the wrong side or past the rectangle there. Are any of you in the Daughters of the American Revolution or are any of you going to be a Roots Tech? You're into genealogy. Uh, or you know of Roots Tech, you've been before. All right, so there is that. See how pretty that turns out? And then we're just going to glue that on there. Yeah, you don't want to use too many dimensionals because you have so much thickness right here with all the mechanism stuff. So um, I just put a couple of dimensionals there. There you go. Oh, well, thank you, Catherine. Like I said, um, fussy cutting just... It just takes practice. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the better you get at it. So, all right, we got that done. We got that done. Now I want these um, pieces here. So I'm going to put a little bit of, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my grid here. Oh, and by the way, this glass mat is free right now for six more days. When you join Stampin' Up, you get this free mat and it's a $60 value. I had to buy mine <laughs> because I'm already a demonstrator. But um, anyways, it's awesome. Uh, it glue comes off of it like nothing. Um, just use a little alcohol spray and da-da. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now that's on there. Now let's go to our mechanism here. And now all we're going to do is just glue it to this, just this little piece right here, just this little square, okay? And I'm going to line up my... Um, oh, what are you going to call these? Tabs, the Fresh Freesia um, tabs there. I'm lining them up with the white strip back there. Okay, and just hold that for a sec. Uh, no, Lori, Paper Strip Challenge was last week. This week, it's... Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I always forget. Good question. Hold on, let me grab my paper. I have to keep myself straight. I keep it all in this catalog. Ca calendar right here. <laughs> like, oh, my God, what week is it? February... Um, Oh, no, yes. So the uh, paper strip with the embossing folder is this week and next week. Okay. So the one I made with the uh, the dot embossing folder, um, that's the one that uh, is for two weeks. So, um, I'm, so the 28th, we're not going to have another one. It's just going to continue through the 28th. So then I will come back on March the 6th. And we will have a new card, uh, card challenge. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good question. Thank you for putting those question marks there in red too. That was very helpful. Okay. There we go. So we've got that one. Now they look alike. Ta-da! We have two. Okay. Now to do the front. All right. So we've got all that. Now we want to do our front. So what I'm going to do is just turn it over. It's just, I found it's easier. We're going to put these two pieces of designer paper right here. And then you can write your message here on the back. And if you use color cardstock instead of white, you would just cut a couple of white panels and put them there. 
so you can write. Okay, make sure you put your birds on the right way. Yep. Okay, and then this one. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Now we need a belly band to hold it all together. So let me get back to my measurements here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. The belly band is cut at 10 inches by one inch. All right. 10 inches by one inch. And then um, usually what I do is just put the card here, center it, and then I bring the tabs over and fold it. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it. Um, I tried scoring it, which you can see the score marks. And sometimes it just, it's it's hard to determine exactly where to score it because the thickness of the card, you don't want the belly band so tight that you can't get it on and off. Okay, now you don't want it so loose that it, you know, falls off either. So there's like this fine line <laughs> of a, uh, a belly band width. So there we go. We've got that now. So what I'm going to do, put this back on here, close it back up and get the glue out. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that shut. Okay. So. And then we'll hide this seam with some designer paper. Okay. Whoops, it moved on me. I didn't even see that, darn it. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure how that happened, but anyways, <laughs> wasn't paying attention. Okay, um, like I said, let me grab this instructions here. So right here at the bottom, we have four by three quarters inch belly band. Four by three quarters inch belly band. Oh, I had it. Where is it? Oh, oh shoot. Don't you hate that? I was all prepared. Did it fell on the ground? Nope. I will cut another piece. <laughs> I just, I know it's right in front of me, but inevitably I'll always have one something disappear on me while I'm trying to make something. All right. So I'm going to make it three quarters inch. <laughs> by four inches. There we go. And that's going to give it, make it look a little prettier. Okay. And I'll just rub this on here. Now, to make the belly band even more, to make it cuter, we're going to add a piece to the front, this piece here. I'm going to show you how I made this. So this is... Um, I, like I told you, I was using these shapes here. So I have this piece here and then, okay, I'm also missing the white piece that I cut out. All right. Well, goodness gracious. That's just the way it goes. All right. Well, I have this piece and we'll just cut another one. <laughs> we will just cut another one. So, and I've got my Misty Moonlight and my happy birthday. I love that this happy birthday is uh, vertical. Um, you don't see that very often on our stamps. We, we have very few stamps that go vertical. But it's fun to play with them when you, when you get one. All right. And then we're just going to line that up. Oh, crud. Well, we'll just put bling there, won't we? Yeah, you got to be careful when your ink pad is real juicy. 
um, the edge of the stamp can make a mark there. But that's okay. I'll just we'll cover it up. All right, let's um, let's get our fresh free seal one here. Now, before I put this on here, though, I do have, and this is from our bow punch. If y'all don't have the bow punch, this one here, this is great for when you just need something added to um, to give it a little more interest. So, and then usually I do like one sprig that way and then I just turn the other one down and go that way but it just looked like an x when I did that I was like oh that looks weird so I turned it like that and you can also flip it over since it's the same on both sides like that so there we go got that now um where's my glue go there we go I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here a little bit of glue here. And this is what I mean about the glass mat. If you get glue on the glass mat, no biggie, it comes right off. All right, so let's get that piece right there. Actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. I didn't think about that. You could have the leaf coming in. Yeah. Okay, wow. I don't know why I try to be, be fancy. Okay, there we go. I like that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Darn it. I forgot the rosebuds. All right. Well, we'll get them in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Come on, get under there. Oh, that's kind of difficult when you forget to put the rosebuds on first. Yeah, always try to remember when you're layering. <laughs> To put the one that's closest to you on first. A uh, little, little uh, hint there or a tip there for you. <laughs> okay, I got that. Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to think what I could put there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it. I've got a string here. We're going to put a ribbon. Actually, that's what we'll do. Let's double the ribbon and see if that'll cover it up. Once again, I cut my ribbon too small. <laughs> oh, my fingers are sticky too. One more time. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. No, it's really not going to cover up that mark, but it's nothing I can do. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm gonna, not going to be a perfectionist. I'm going to let it be. I know I could probably put some bling on it, but. Okay. There we go. Now, dimensionals. Oh, Sandra, you uh, late. You're going to have to watch the replay. Yep. I'm afraid I'm almost done. 
but at least you get to see the card all finished and then you'll look forward to seeing how to do it. There we go. Got that on there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad with that little mark. Yeah, looks nice. All right. And then this just goes on the belly band right here in the middle. So I'm just going to put a little glue right here. And center that. Ah, hold it. Don't let it slip. There we go. And then whoop, it twisted on me again. Oh, the happy birthday is stamped a little crooked. That's okay. So see how easy that was to get on and on, on and off. Um, if you have it too tight, it's hard to do that. But like I said, you don't want it so loose that when you're holding the card, okay, when you're holding it, that it falls off. Yeah. You don't want it to fall off by itself. And then you open it up and voila. And it, and it sits on the shelf or the mantle like that. So this pops out. So you can see it. It looks like that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope you like today's fun fold. Um, I'll have pictures and the email with the downloadable uh, PDF later this afternoon um, and the blog up later this afternoon. All the measurements were here on the bottom of the screen. So you can always watch the replay and, uh, and watch it again. My blog is creatingwithchristina.com. And if you ever have any questions, you can reach me at Christina at creatingwithchristina.com. So that's fine. Today's fun fold was called the center pop out gatefold. At least that's what I'm calling it because that's what it looks like. You all are so awesome for hanging with me this morning. Let me check my comments. Make sure I didn't miss any questions. Looks like we're good. Thank you guys for all the sweet uh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. Maria does. Why did you not put the DSP behind the mechanism? The white doesn't look very good because the DSP is too dark. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Um, right here? Oh, I see. Yeah, I could have covered that. I could have used uh, pecan pie would have been a better choice. Um, yeah, that's okay. Sorry. Um, I just <laughs> I just used white because I was using white. But um, yeah, you can use whatever colors you want. But yeah. I see what you're saying there, Maria. Okay. All right. You all have a blessed weekend. Like I said, I will be gone next week, but I have emails ready to go out. Um, I have the videos pre-recorded for you next week. So there'll still be um, card tutorials coming at you. Um, March 1st, be watching for the new card kit. I made the cards with the brand new um, uh, Xenia card um, suite that comes out March 1st. We have a brand new uh, online exclusive call called um, something Xenias. Anyways, uh, but it's beautiful paper. And so I can't wait to show you those cards. And so be watching for that on March 1st. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. You all have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you live in another week. Okay. Bye-bye.